Nature is in crisis. One million species are threatened with extinction. We must urgently reverse biodiversity loss before it's too late. We have an opportunity to do this with the post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework due to be agreed by world leaders in Kunming, China later this year. But we must act fast and with ambition. World leaders must adopt a framework that includes a clear and measurable mission of reversing biodiversity loss to be nature positive by 2030. This is essential to safeguard human and planetary health. It is both necessary and achievable, but must be supported by 2030 milestones to define where we need to be and ensure real progress is being made. But what are the must-haves for a nature-positive global plan that drives immediate and transformative action? It must conserve at least 30% of land, ocean and freshwater globally by 2030 to help halt species loss and protect the vital ecosystems we all depend on. This must be done in partnership with indigenous peoples and local communities, with their rights and roles fully recognised and secured. We must also reduce the pressure we are placing on the natural world through a milestone to halve the footprint of production and consumption by 2030. This means transforming key productive sectors, such as our agriculture and food systems and fisheries, to work with nature, not against it. A strong implementation mechanism is essential to hold everyone accountable. Countries must review their progress and increase action when targets aren't being met. We need to address the negative impact of finance on the natural world, aligning financial flows with nature-positive practices and eliminating or repurposing harmful incentives. All countries must work together, with richer countries supporting poorer ones. Nature-based solutions must be included in the framework to bring together action on nature and climate while benefiting people. A post-2020 global biodiversity framework with these key elements, delivered through rights-based and whole-of-society approaches throughout, can help us reset our broken relationship with nature. Leaders must stand by existing commitments and act now to strengthen the draft text. Reversing nature loss is essential to securing a healthy, prosperous and sustainable future for all. And time is running out to act.